Yo folks, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the best waifus in the release of Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Just note this video is sponsored, but this will not sway my opinions on this game. We'll be going over first impressions, beginner infos, mistakes to avoid. If you download Nikkei now, you'll get launch rewards, free 110 pulls, two popular SSRs, one popular SR. So use promo code Nikkei Love to get some free stuff with the launch rewards at the start of the game. Go into Nikkei right here, go into the Nikkeipedia. We're talking about the best waifus first, of course, and one of the best in my opinion. We all know it, we all love it. It's going to be volume right here. Now it's not because of the look, it is all about the voice acting and the way you get to know her. I have to say, she is some of the best. If you don't know why you're going to get her, if you're going to listen to her voice acting, it is going to be a treat. I have to say it. Yoha right here, she is amazing. She has that mommy hardworking vibe she nails that shark tooth look that most waifus just don't have and to be honest she is just a really great gal these are my two favorites personally speaking we'll get to know more there's plenty of them in the game let's jump right into the campaign go into the gameplay now one turn off is going to be the loading screens hopefully it's going to be a little bit better but outside of that it's just one thing that i have to critique the game on but now let's get into it so this is going to be the combat field so one thing to note the effective range is is going to be very important near mid far this is going to be where which weapons excel at but just note the rocket launcher is mostly for sky enemies that are crowded up together it's not really the greatest but it's good in its own ways let's start the battle and talk about the combat and how everything feels it's cohesive it's united and most importantly team mechanics matter greatly within this game now there are a lot of things that can confuse you on like which are the best units what are the things that we can talk about we'll talk about team comps in a different video let's talk about how everything flows first so first things you're jumping into the combat you can turn off auto you can turn off the assists and everything and the cool thing is is everyone will still be flowing and going with or without you you can see right here i can select the burst skills and things will happen right you can aim some of them so right here we can aim like the little missiles right there that is anise you get her absolutely for free and then we can launch rappy right here who can also do the attacks right so it's up to you how you want things to flow within the combat we get the full burst the most important thing that you need to know is that when you're in control of the combat everyone will aim with you all of the nikkei so that's one thing to note you can see there's like a little timer the field is destructible as in like you can take down things within the games we're gonna go ahead and put it on auto and the reason why i'm doing that is because i like to sit back and enjoy the fireworks and what's going on i'm gonna be recommending some units and some things to make sure you do because the very beginning of this game the k particularly it is difficult it is surprisingly hard and you saw like the little fist pump with like yoha i love it that's what makes me really engage with the characters is the little cutscenes and of course advising them and getting to know them a little bit better there's a lot of small things that this waifu collector does in my opinion that makes it so that you fall in love and engage with the actual game versus just being like oh portrait mode i don't understand anything you understand them very frequently and i recommend going into the story one of the opening cutscenes that introduces you into the game, when you get to meet Miriam for the first time, or Marion, I think is her name, it is phenomenal, all right? Make sure you don't miss it. If you miss it, if you don't understand bandages in the comments, then you don't understand Nikkei, all right? Because that is going to found your understanding of the story. I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you don't watch it, if you don't understand the bandage reference, then you're just not gonna get it. You can skip the rest of the story. Just understand what bandages actually mean. Go into the outpost because that is going to be the bread and butter and where you're going to be doing most of your quote unquote farming within the game, right? Be like the idle sections. And as soon as you unlock this, this is going to give you your best way of getting resources within the game. As you can see right here, we have like a bunch of different things popping up. This is going to be like the credits and you just hit claim and then we get some resources, right? Really good. Not to mention it can also increase your level. Sometimes you can get some gems. If you go into the command center right here, you can hit enter. There's gonna be a nice little cut scene or game that you can sort 
to play with your waifus, you go into advise right here and this is how you can get to know everyone. You can go into Yoha because she is the waifu for me at the moment because I don't have volume and it's telling you like the different ranks and how you can increase bonds. You can give them gifts and right here you have a little coupon, you give them a gift right and you can of course give them the little bit of advice and you can confirm everything and you'll be like hey Yoha you should do these things. The conniving woman, how do I get rid of her? Ask, do you like me? Bite her. Just bite her, dude. This is like the best decision. Yeah, with your teeth. That's what your teeth are meant to do. And she said it's not a bad idea. So, Yoha, she did the thing with the conniving waifus. And there we go. Rank increase. We got rank two. We got some extra stats. That's why I love this game, to be honest. It's very unique. And of course, you can view some episodes and, you know, view the little cutscenes and how you do with your waifus. You can jump back right here. There's also going to be different game modes outside of like the outposts. I think that's like a just a cute little touch that you can get engaged with everything because a lot of times waifu collectors there's gonna be a lot of things going on but not enough meat and potatoes so you can get hooked within it go right here into arc this is gonna be where all the different game modes is this is where you can see like there's gonna be the simulation room this is gonna be where you get your skill enhancement trainings right so you can begin the simulation what's nice about this is you know how like the combat can be engaging you jump into it it's kind of long you can just go in here, let's say I'm going to gain the survival buff, right? We're going to do quick battle and it's going to do the numbers for you and you don't have to do anything and make sure to select the different pieces so you know what is effective for. So right there, it's not going to be affecting too many of our units, not too many of our units. And I think it's all the same thing. So I'm going to go for the chance to restore some HP because why not? And we are using Mihara. Mihara? The names in the Nikkei versus a little bit difficult for me to pronounce. So I just do a quick battle and I like this. It's very optimized. It's one of the key parts of Nikkei. Just make sure to pay attention to the game and the cues that it gives you because sometimes it'd be like, hey, you know, you can get an upgrade, but you're like, where does it go? What does it do? Let's jump back right here and go into the tribe tower. This is going to be another way you can get resources and you unlock them within the game. It's your standard, you know, just power modes. You go in here, you engage the enemies. I love it. It's straightforward. It's to be a good way to get resources early on in the game because a lot of times the resource farming within the K, it's very confined. It's constrained. So you're going to want to jump in here, tackle as many stages as you can, upgrade your waifus. Do not be afraid to level up your waifus because the upgrades that you get as you're going through the game, they're not that finite. It's the skill levels that you have to be very prominent about because the skill levels are going to be what's fairly difficult to go with. And of course, you can't skip like, you know, the cutscenes and the battles within this mode because this is going to be like actual battles and he's going right in here. If I'm butchering the names of the waifus, you know, just slam your fist down like the way Yoha did and just let me know in the comments like, that's not how you say their names, Bork. And I'll be like, okay, like my bad, dude. But there we go. Hopefully we complete the stage soon. We hit the little bossies and our units are fairly upgraded. I'll tell you the secret of how I got so many resources within the game because I was like, bro, I am dying here. I am thirsting. I am starving. Feed me. Give me some water. Where are the credits? Where is everything so I can get strong and buff? And we need to take out the boss. Where are you? Aim for the boss. All right, everyone. Do the things. And you can also turn off the parts where it's switching between different Nikkeis in case you're like, I want to focus on one waifu. I don't need 10 different waifus, five different waifus on the screen. All right, there we go. We didn't manage to do it. We'll jump back one more time. Also, we're checking out Arena. It's not yet available within the game. It'll come down later as we're flowing and going. And then there's also Interception. I believe this is going to be like another sort of like maze mode that you can go within. Or is this a... I haven't tried this yet. So let's do a normal intercept. We'll put our strongest waifus right here. Let's save. And then let's just start battle and i can't do quick battle yet because i haven't unlocked it so let's see i'm sure it's going to be like some gameplay bits in case you guys are wondering do i like nikkei do i think it's a fun game bro it's a surprise there's so many different things that are to do and the difficulty cap on nikkei is definitely up there it's not one of those games that can just run and gun blitz through it and just engage with the combat i have to really understand the systems and i love gacha games that introduce you into those things very well and I also love the soundtrack of Nikkei. My God, it is absolutely amazing. Not only is the voice acting top tier, but when you are in the combat, like it has like this heavy metal. Yeah, slam your fist, Yoha. She just knows. It hits right. And I have to say it every single time. If you don't 
have the music on, just do yourself a favor, turn it on, understand what's going on. It's gonna be a great time, trust me. So this is gonna be one of the bosses. As you can see, there's a couple of different phases. We are halfway there. And to be honest with you, let's go ahead and do something really quick. We're gonna, oh man, two of our units already disconnected. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna change it so that we are not switching between our different waifus. Just do never, or you can do sometimes, it's up to you. When it's save, we're gonna go ahead and jump back in here. If we, I don't think we can complete this. So we're not ready for this. We're gonna go ahead and quit. So yeah, obviously I'm level 40. Everyone's super strong, but it's one of those things in EK. Oh, we get some rewards from it. We get some gear. That's pretty nice because getting gear in this game can be a little bit difficult. That probably used up our temp. I don't think it was a good idea. So that is a mistake to avoid. You know, don't just quit out of there. I didn't know we were gonna get resources based off of it, but we can quick battle. And yeah, there's a lot of different things you can engage with in this game. I have to tell you, it was a great surprise. And one of the most important parts, you're watching this video, click this little icon with exclamation mark, all right? This is going to provide you your daily missions, but most of all, if you go in here into main, this is going to give you a butt ton of resources. Make sure to jump in there. That is going to be key in order to just have fun and actually enjoy the game because I did not have these things. It also gives you summon tickets. It gives you gems gives you everything that you need so that you won't be starving for resources at least early on so yeah if you're wondering i really like this game i think the k is definitely worth a try sponsor or no sponsor there's so many different things like we get all like these different boxes make sure to save these when you desperately need resources you're actually stuck on a stage i could probably complete the last stage right now but let's go ahead and jump into summon so you guys can know what the rates are for this game you know i think it's pretty nice so if you go into rate info right here it's four percent for all the different waifus there's gonna be a couple of different banners there's gonna be a guaranteed ssr banner with the mod shop and social point recruit and then the normal recruit banner so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in here and what's really nice i think there's like a 40 pity in this banner at least the ordinary banner we're gonna go ahead and ascend and let's see can we get something amazing oh do we get an ssr to be honest with you, I think the first four summons on this Ordinary Recruit banner are guaranteed SSRs. Now we're gonna do a couple more summons. So here's gonna be our SSR, Missilis. Who is it going to be? Gonna be someone amazing. And oh, we get a copy of Drake. She is actually a really good shotgun user. Just know, pay attention to the battlefield like we talked about earlier because there's gonna be certain waifus that are be good in certain scenarios because sometimes it's not always advantageous to use the shotguns. You're gonna need snipers, you're gonna need rocket launchers, you're gonna need some sort of AoE to control all the things popping up. And SRs, like I said, we got a copy of Mirhara right there. We're gonna go ahead and do the skippies. I think that was everyone. Yeah, that was mostly everyone. As you can see, you get like a little spare body. That's gonna be important because it's gonna be giving you more stat bonuses. We're gonna go ahead and recruit again. We're gonna be using some of our jemmies. I think this is going to be our last multi, but let's check it. Do we get another SSR? Is this going to be a thing in the game where we get four guaranteed SSRs? We only got a purple. Let's see, is it going to go gold right here? I want to check it because I've been having a pretty good experience so far. Everything was purple. Let's see, is there going to be any surprises? No surprises. Belorta, I think that was the waifu that I just got. She was actually really good. She pairs with Micah really well, or Mika, however way you want to say it. And N102, she's all right. And we got Neon right there, another copy of her. I love the dupes. Rappy, we got another dupe. I'm going to show you guys how you use a dupe because I think it's very important. So no guaranteed right there, but still two multis right off the bat. I love it. And I've been using free to play, like all these units I've been getting within the game. We jump right into here. Make sure you do this because this is going to be a stat bonus. Go into limit break. And there we go. Every single extra stat that you get in Nikkei is going to be important, right? Yo, you can go to level 160. The important part is, is we got a little bit of stats. Go quick equip and just upgrade the crap out of your units because you want them to be top tier as possible. Finally, once again, huge thank you to the devs at Goddess of Victory Nikkei for sponsoring today's video. Definitely one of the most fun waifu collectors on the market for the wonderful array of waifus with amazing VA, stunning graphics, engaging and unique combat, and some of the best music that will get your blood pumping. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram if you wanna see my face. Thanks so much for watching, have yourself a fantastic day, and see you guys in the next one.